a mite with the wandering wolf and we're at Kay's Branch, Belize. Hey guys, we are here at Ian Anderson's Adventure Company in Jungle Lodge, which sits on about 58,000 acres of just wild, amazing land out here. We have spent the last three days taking part in some of the activities that they offer here, all kinds of adventures, and we're gonna show you some of that today. But first, check out these rooms. As you can see, this is top notch, and this isn't the only room that we're gonna show you today. There's another one called the Tree House, and um, we're gonna show you that, so follow us. Hey guys, so this is the Tree House. This is absolutely amazing. We got moved here tonight after uh, doing all our trips. This is our last night here, and um, looks like we're gonna be doing it in style. As you can see, we've got an outdoor shower right here. Absolutely amazing, totally fun. Follow me this way. And we are actually above the canopy here in the tree house. So when you get the tree house, expect like all the comforts and amenities. This is amazing, you get views. We haven't even gone inside the home yet. If you go this way. So in here we have the uh, living room. You've got a double bed. Right around here is the bathroom, which we'll show you in a second, but follow me this way. And you'll come into the main bedroom. You do have uh, AC going here and a fan, and the indoor shower and bathroom. But we're not done. Right up this way, we have an entire other little surprise that this tree house has in store. What a way to relax. Got a hot tub oh, above the canopy, looking out over the jungles. This place is absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend staying here at Ian Anderson's Adventure Company in Jungle Lodge. This is the best place to be able to purchase all your tickets to the surrounding attractions, the caves, the waterfalls, the black hole drop, the tubing all that kind of stuff, and it's all right in this area. So when you get up in the morning, they take care of everything for you and uh, get you on your way. This is all run through uh, Ian Anderson's uh, adventure company. So staying here really makes it easy to do multiple trips on your stay or, or even in a day. They have combo packages and tours like that. They've been more than hospitable. Um, I also love little things that they do here, like turning off the Wi-Fi at the main lodge during uh, meal time, forcing everybody to interact with each other, which is just, it's, it's, that's really nice. And it uh, really helps you get to know your fellow travelers and interact with people. Our stay here has been fantastic. And I definitely recommend it. Huge thank you to Mr. Ian Anderson. And uh, we're gonna enjoy this little uh, piece of heaven. So we've been enjoying it here for several days, but this is our first night in the treehouse. So we're gonna settle in and get comfortable. You guys enjoy the adventures. Good morning. Uh, we're, uh, we are at Cave Branch Lodge. And on our way out to our first adventure for the day at doing a cave tubing and going into a cave, checking it out. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, right now we're on our bumpy ride to get there.
Hey guys, we are here doing the river tubing today. We're gonna to be going through a river and a cave. Really excited to show all of that and uh, get a little wet, have a little fun. So I'm outfitted today in my very fashionable safety helmet. Got my tubes, ready to go. Yeah, all right. About to get these shoes wet. We're going that way. Yeah, we're going that way. Oh my god. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Adios. That'll wake you up. Oh my god, I gotta stop moving around. It's not that cold. No, 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 no. Ah. No, no, no. Just a bit more. And I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, a little chilly. A little chilly on the back end, but. Woo! Well, we're off to a good start. Here we go. All right, guys, we are doing the River Cave Expedition. We are on our way. I think we're going up river here to the cave that we're gonna walk around and check out. This should be a lot of fun. Hey Heading into the cave here. Yep. Ooh. Hi you guys, so let me have your attention for a bit, you guys. First of all, uh, welcome to the Footprint Cave System. That's the name of this cave, you guys. So it goes for over nine kilometers. Over nine kilometers. We're just doing about probably a kilometer and a half today, you guys, in the cave, right? So this will be the entrance and the exit later, you guys, okay? We flow upstream, but again, we come down from later, all right? And uh, for now, we're gonna be hiking. And the hiking part, you guys, is gonna be like this. On the riverbed, but there's a lot of loose rocks, slip rocks, sharp rocks. You know, there will be some low rock formations, low ceiling. That's where we use the helmets again, okay? We also have flowstone, rimstone dams, soda straws, grain formation, jellyfish formations. Just the way how geologists would look at them, that's how they name them, you guys. Grain formations, those are what you get to see in the cave, you guys. All right, you guys. So let's show you some of these pieces of artifacts here. The earliest evidence that the mines were utilizing cave guys, you know, for ceremonies and rituals dates back around 1000 BC. And uh, some of the artifacts discovered here dates back between, you know, 300 to about 500 AD. Within this area, though, more deeper into the cave, some of those artifacts dates between, you know, 600 to about 1000 AD. Alright you guys, so th this is the first chamber we're looking at. Now we have mm -hmm. two more to go and visit, okay? okay. So let's grab our cubes and we're gonna continue with the drop of street. Watch your steps. This is what we call a rimstone dam, you guys. Rimstone dam. And you can see the different layers and layers. Those little wrong rocks that you see in there, those are called cave pearls. Cave pearls, yes sir. Then we have the curtain formation right here, you guys see? Curtain formation. Then we have the two towers there, we call it the candle box formation. Mm -hmm. Then we have the huge, look at the side of that uh, column, you guys. According to geologists, they estimated that it takes about 150 years to form a cubic inch of these rock formations, you guys. What? And any caves you find through the cave towards Belize right now, you find there's a lot of ashes and charcoal fire pits in the cave. And these are evidence right here, see? Yeah. These charcoal and ashes, these are from the ancient times, Mayan times. So some of these ashes date back over a thousand years, you guys, thousand wow. five hundred years. Because the quality of preservation is excellent within these type of environment or cave system like this. Look at this, you guys. Remember we saw one in the water? Eating on the yeah. sea? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, they're the same type. So freshwater snails. But if you look at these ones, look at the tail. The tail part are missing, see? Uh -huh. They're broken. Something's eating them? Yes, and it's the Mayans. Mm. I can't just found a whole lot of these in the caves, you guys. Yes, Cargo. So, 
So what they do, you guys, the mines will make soup from these. Even today, we still do. You go to the local market, Bama Pande, yeah. you find this, you buy them by pound. You know, and so what you do is you clean them. You know, you clean them very good. And then uh, once it's good, you break the little tail, you season it, you know how you like it. You make a soup from these. Nice. So once it's already cooked, what you do is you get the steel from here. You just go, oh, and it's cooked oh, because then this is over. Yeah. Then you get mm -hmm. it. This is really cool. We're just coming back from the farthest point of the cave and now uh, coming through a part you have to get pretty low here. Work our way back down to our tubes. We have a little bit more of the adventure to go. It's a really, really cool place. Tons of formations and a lot of like just spectacular stuff to look at. So what do we have here? We have a scorpion spider or a whip tail. Are they uh, venomous? No, they're totally harmless. You can see it splinters to the front here and it has this long feeler. This, this is a what? <laughs> scorpion spider. So this is a scorpion spider and he is a creepy, creepy little dude. Gets double up size too. Really? Yeah. Alright, so so far this whole cave system has been pretty open and spacious, but it's about to get pretty low here. Let's see what we're about to get into. Wish me luck. <laughs> so this has been really awesome. We are at the end, and um, so apparently the cave gets so low over here that it's impassable. So we're cleaning up and washing off after going through that really low space there, heading on out. And definitely would recommend this. It's been great. Yeah. So we just went through like what did you say earlier? 1.6 kilometers. Um, no, it's, uh, well, yeah, the whole cave system is over nine kilometers. Nine kilometers. Yeah, what did we walk? Well, close to three kilometers. Wow. Yeah, yes. And now we're floating our way back around. This is like a big circle? It is. We, we created like a loop. We went around. Yeah. And we're taking way back. Long street. Yes, this is yes. really awesome. It you get to do this all the time? Every time. Very it's cool. For over 10 years now. That's amazing. <laughs> This yeah. is so cool. Really, really cool. Hey, thanks for taking us on. For this, sure. You're welcome. This You're welcome. journey. You're welcome. And now we're going to go and have some lunch after this. Perfect. Yes. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. Eating lunch in a cave. <laughs> I thought we were done. It was this high. I got you, Mike. Oh, here we go. I thought we were done. I got the friend. I got the nut. Woohoo! Oh my god, I can't punch like this jumping thing. You're gonna jump. I really don't want to. It's so cold. All right, I've only got a little bit of battery left, so I'm probably gonna go. This is it. This is it. You got this. Goodbye, cruel world. Jesus Christ, it's cold. Thank you! Yeah! <laughs> Woo, she did. Hell yeah! Give her a big cheer when she comes yeah. up. Yeah! <laughs> Way to conquer your fears, that's awesome. <laughs> so behind me, everything that we just did was from this mountain over to here. All underground. All the stuff that we just did, it was such a cool experience. So this whole, uh, the whole cave system that we went through, and apparently it continues to run on for miles and miles and miles. Um, but a lot of it you can't really get to because it gets so low and you'd have to have scuba gear or something. But this was a great trip, definitely would recommend it. Had a lot of fun. If you're down here, come check it out for sure. 
We're on our way to the black hole drop, about 15 minutes away, and we're gonna have a little fun today. Looking forward to it. We good? We are. We're good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. We'll let you guys go. We are making our way. We've got about an hour hike. Is that right? I think an hour hike. Hour, 45 minutes. Hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, that depends on how fast we move. Well, I guess we better step it out, huh? Should have stretched first. I forget sometimes how old I am. Things start hurting. You're like, what? What is going on today? Stairs. Why did it have to be stairs? China broke us of stairs. I feel like I'm going back to our house. Yeah, really. <laughs> Look at all these palms, guys. All these young palms are the same species. That one right there, you can see the nuts on top coming down. That's a cahoon palm. The palm has many uses. The leaves they use for thatch, they split them in half and they use them for roofs, especially for uh, restaurants or resorts up in the Keys or in the islands. And also uh, the Mayans make their homes, most of them in the villages, uh, out of thatch, the cahoon palm. Right. But if they make the, the, the roofs for themselves, they're rainproof for a long time, mm -hmm. for, for about 15, 20 years. And uh, the heart of palm is edible. To get to the heart of palm, you have to cut down the whole palm from the trunk and then get to the heart. The nuts, the inside kernel is edible. So it's like, uh, I'll show you, it's like, uh, it's, uh, this, this one right here, it's not, um, it's, it's dry. But once it's, uh, it's, it's not dry, you use that for cooking oil. And, very cool. Uh, you can make your foods, but the shell is very hard. And uh, that's what they make lots yeah. of different carvings from. And if you were to dig a hole in the bottom of the palm, the trunk of the palm, and you put sugar and cover it up, it'll ferment, eventually it'll ferment into wine. So, really? so the palm will give you roof, food, souvenir, and a buzz. <laughs> All you need. So we're getting a little education as we make our way up the mountain to the uh, actual black hole. Um, as you can see, the weather is not the best, but uh, it's not bad either. Um, we've had hotter days on our trip here, so this is pretty nice. And we're learning a lot. But I am excited to get up there and rappel down this hole. So we are hunkering down right now. We are at the top where the black hole drop is. We're waiting to go, but we are getting poured on something fierce. And we're under the jungle, jungle canopy, and we're still getting poured on. Um, so we're just killing some time, telling some jokes, getting to know each other, uh, waiting for the rain to let up so we can make our way down. So, that, oh, oh, okay, okay, sure. I know, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, what, what did we get ourselves into? It's quite a drop. So, what we're, what we're both doing here, guys, it's um, a chest harness. That will be a backup harness to a seat harness. Um, so when my seat harness breaks, um, this is this is to keep you from falling out of your seat harness if you go upside down. Ah, uh, I got you. Which it, it can happen. I think I saw a YouTube video last night about how to do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you watched it carefully. You know, I watched it like a couple times. Yes, sir. Yes. You, feel, you feel pretty good about it? I think I, think okay. I, I, think I got it. I think yeah. I got it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I... <coughs> I'm remembering right. I, I remember that the guy said in the video, if you don't know how to tie a knot, you tie lots of knots. <laughs> so that's Will knot me up. So, okay, I'm gonna go through here. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get personal with you. Hey. Right they really go above and beyond here. <laughs> the service. The service is. Above and below. The service, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About to do this damn thing.
Go upside down. You need to really, really do it, man. <clears throat> and bring your feet up. Now open your legs. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been told by a real man to open your legs, but today's the day, buddy. <laughs> That was amazing. Mm. Woo. Oh. <laughs> so I know you've been doing this for a long time, Dad, but uh, first time for me, this one's for you. Here you go, okay. there. Don't bend your knees too much, okay? Okay, try yeah. to keep it straight. Yeah, and then you're gonna walk on the wall in 90 degree because otherwise it's slippery. See how you're slipping? Yeah. So you gotta walk on the wall. Small steps from there. Whoa. Whoa. And we're upside down. <laughs> Woo! All ready. So what do I do now? Just feed the rope. Feeding the rope. Feed the rope. Feed the rope. Feeding the rope. Feed the rope. Feed the rope. Try, try not to put your foot on top of that rope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go under the rope. There you, there you go. Now feed the rope more. <laughs> okay. Now I'm on it. All right, man. Woo. Yeah. Don't worry, man. When you get the unexpected, it's better. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! -hoo. Now we're getting the hang of it. Ah, there you go. Look around, man. Enjoy the view. Wow. Now, if you want to, now you can do a real upside down. You know what? I think I had my one. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, this is incredible. Woohoo! You know, Mike, you've made me do some insane stuff on these trips. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But this is probably one of the coolest. <laughs> and right down to the bottom. Mike gets to live another day. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You had, that. To, you had to show up by going upside down. <laughs> Immediately going upside down. Watch this. That is probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Y'all gotta come here. <laughs> hey, so we just finished uh, rappelling down here at the Black Hole Drop, and that was absolutely amazing. You got about like, I don't know, 20 feet where you're headed down the actual rock face and then after that it's just a free drop repel um, it's absolutely totally safe and amazing you get some amazing views of this area and the uh, the surroundings that we're in couldn't recommend it more we're about to eat a good lunch and get some energy back in this for the hike on out of here we're uh, sheltering from the storm right now so what have we got for lunch today Today we have veggies, man. We have a veggie burrito. We're gonna have uh, tomatoes. We have hard-boiled rooster eggs. We have cucumbers, carrots, cabbage, onions. We have some horse meat here, some cheese, and first baked flour tortilla. And correct me if I'm wrong. The cheese is actually made on uh, the Cave Branch site, yes, right? Yes, it's made at Cave Branch. They make around 13 types of artisan cheese. This is one of them. It's uh, it's actually uh, provolone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, provolone. Hmm. Wonderful. Nice little lunch here at the bottom of the canyon. I feel like I'm in a journey to the center of the earth or something, or some kind of like prehistoric land. Everything's like oversized formations. This is amazing. It feels like another world. So that's where the cave goes. So we're standing on the, the river is right down there. If you look uh, in between the rocks, mm -hmm. a little dark, that's, that's the water. Is it just dry? Yeah, no, it's just water there. Water. Oh, I and see. Then, it. And then it goes that way. But to get down to the river, 
the behind those boulders along the wall over there, you see the dusty path that mm -hmm. you down there? That's our trail. And you go there behind the big boulder and down over there in the green, you can see some brown steps that leads into the cave to the river. So we're going there right now. No. No, that's what he was saying. If you do the <laughs> what? Overnight, that's the overnight trip. We should all be on our honeymoon. Yeah. How you feeling? So we are working our way out of the uh, black hole where we just went repelling. We just explored a cave, crashed a drone. We're walking up a mountain. Um, you know, it's a good day. <laughs> uh, this is actually a really cool spot and uh, we're having a blast. Going down that, the rappel, um, was really cool. You're up high, you get a sense of scale of the whole area, of just this space that used to all be one massive cave that forever ago collapsed in on itself and now you have all these formations and stuff. Even walking past an altar that the Mayans used that they built and carved inside of here out of the natural formations. This is a great, great, great little expedition that we're doing today. <clears throat> All right, guys, we just finished up here at the Black Hole Drop. Had an amazing time. We're headed back to the hotel to uh, clean up because we're soaked through and through. But this was an awesome, awesome part of our trip exploring this area uh, out here. So we're going to get cleaned up because our day's not over yet. Hey, guys, we are here at the Blue Hole. We're going to head down here. This is supposed to be a really cool spot to swim and take a dip. We get down here and maybe get in, see if we can explore around a little bit. Hey guys, we are here at the Blue Hole. This is the inland Blue Hole, not the super famous one out in the ocean. Um, but it's just a little swimming hole. As you can see, it actually is blue. We heard that the uh, color of the water can be affected by rain and different stuff and runoff depending on what the weather is like. But we're gonna jump in here and check it out. Bottom. Oh, that's a little freaky. <laughs> There's a little fish swimming around in here. So the Blue Hole is not a big site, but it's a great little stop off on your way to any of the other expeditions in the area for just a cool dip and like a relaxing break in your day. Hey guys, we are here at Ian Anderson's Cave France Adventure Lodge. We're about to start the uh, Botanical Garden Tour. So let's go check it out. This place is amazing. This is uh, right all in its natural habitat, but they've built a actual botanical garden here for you to be able to walk in and enjoy. And if you're staying here at any time, you can just wander around through here and be amazed at all the different various species of plants that are in here. It's very cool. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on this part of our trip. We want to give a special thanks to Ian Anderson's Cave Branch, Adventure Company and Lodge. We had an amazing time here. We did so much on this trip. We hope you enjoy watching it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you get a chance, share the video. It really helps us grow. Stay safe, have a great week.